Staying with the male <laughs> woke nonsense news continues, however, Leo, it turns out that hypnotising a fairy into attempting bestiality is not the most offensive bit in Midsummer Night's Dream. So not, not anymore, so Shakespeare's Globe has put an ableism warning on its latest production of A Midsummer Night's Dream after hiring an actress with dwarfism to play a character insulted over her height. Uh, they spoke to her and uh, she isn't happy. I'm not sure which one she was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's a terrible joke. But that no, would they, be, well, they, get the they, show they spoke off. her, she is happy. She says, uh, yeah. I've always wanted to play Hermia. It's a dream come true to play her at the Globe. Uh, but a post on the theatre's website says, content guidance. The play contains language of violence, ableism, misogyny and racism and scenes of a sexual nature. I mean, isn't it insulting to put a warning on, oh, we, this play contains dwarves? That sounds like... I mean... <laughs> it may contain dwarves. Yeah, I think, I think people... I mean, like the, the, the presumption always with these things is that they've done it to get some publicity. Fair play if they have done. But she's a fairly minor character, but what it seems like she's saying, she's played it a few times now, the Hermia. Right. I don't know the play that well. My wife is very fond of it. I always found it a little bit... I like the proper blood and iron plays, you know. Um, but anyway, um, she, I don't remember her as being significant, but apparently she is a, 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 literally a dwarf in the thing who yeah. gets teased. There are sort of heightest slurs. She is referred to as a bean or a bead or an acorn and things like that. Yeah. And she's saying now that when they do that, when they have those scenes, the audience is sort of gasp in horror at the uh, treatment she's getting, where, where traditionally you would laugh at the underdog being bullied. Now, now the audience are on her side, and then when she responds or shows a bit of defiance, they're like, yeah, you go, girl. Right. So, I mean, I guess that's all fine, right? That's good. Yeah, would people not have, like, to go and see Shakespeare, you've probably read the text, haven't you? Yeah. So I don't understand why you need a warning to no, go and see what true. you probably have an idea yeah. of. You've probably even done it Even if you just school. skimmed it. <laughs> yeah. Even if you've just skimmed it. But it's good to see some uh, acting roles for dwarves, because I, I worry that, you know, with every, everything being so woke, they're, they're not getting into the pantomime anymore. Well, I was going to say pantomime, I mean, in all seriousness, it must be a weird life, because if you're going to train to be an actor and you're yeah. going to put... You can't, you, there are not many jobs you can put on hold for six weeks of the year to say, right, it's now panto season, yeah. and yet there's no other work the rest of the year round. I don't know how they how they organise they, that. They're not letting them in. Oh, I, I think they are. I don't know if they. No. Are I think it's gone but... down because it's not seen as you know yeah. as politically correct anymore to have you know loads of dwarves Seven dressed dwarves. up as. Yeah.